Okay, this is a story called Be Wigged. Ooh, let's see what's going to happen here. Hi there. Jerry B. loved people. But people did not love Jerry B. You see them running away? For one thing, he was a bee. For another, he was the most enormous bee anyone had ever seen. A sting from a bee Jerry's size would really hurt. So people stayed away. It's true that Jerry was quite large, but he had never stung anyone in his entire life. In fact, he had tried hard to make friends. He gave away free honey. He said hello and gave people flowers. He buzzed on the phone and the person on the phone said, ah, a bee. What do you think of a bee called you on the phone? But nothing worked. How do you think Jerry the bee is feeling? He looks sad. He has a big tear. One morning, Jerry saw an old wig lying on the sidewalk. Why not, thought Jerry. He put the wig on his head. Just then, do you see the wig on his head? Just then, he heard a bus driver shout, Young man, you're late for school. The bus driver stopped her bus, opened the door, and hollered, Get in! Jerry got on the bus. Wow, this wig makes me look just like a boy, thought Jerry. As Jerry looked at himself in the mirror, he had a wonderful thought. If he looked like a boy instead of a bee, maybe people would finally like him. When the bus stopped, Jerry made a beeline for the school. He couldn't wait to make friends with all the people inside. Jerry entered the first classroom he could find. Excuse me, ma'am, he said. My name is Jerry, and I would love to join your wonderful class. And might I add that you are looking quite lovely today. Miss Swan was the first friend Jerry made that day. The students really liked Jerry, too. He was helpful. He was tying someone's shoe. He was funny. Look, he's making a silly face. He was artistic. Look, he drew a flower. And she says, that's so good. And generous. And he gave the picture to that girl. And she said, gee, she was so happy. He was even a terrific speller. Let's see if you guys know this word. F-R-I-E-N-D-S-H-I-P. Do you know that one? Friendship. He could spell. By the end of the day, Jerry B. had more friends than he had ever had in his life. So Jerry decided to come to school every day, and every day he made more friends. One day he helped the janitor mop. Allow me, he said. The next day, he complimented the lunch ladies on their food. Oh, Jerry, they said when he said, yummy, yummy. They were so pleased. Jerry inspired the cheerleaders with his remarkable team spirit. Go team, says Jerry. And the cheerleader says, oh, do join the squad, Jerry. He even went over the bus driver. 10-4, Miss Driver. He has a banner on that says safety monitor and he's winking by the end of the week everyone loved jerry so much that they made him the grand marshal of the annual school parade jerry b was ecstatic he couldn't believe how much the wig had changed his life there he is in the the car the grand marshal of the parade the wind, then the wind started blowing hard. Oh no, what's happening to his wig? The wind blew Jerry's wig right off his head. He tried to catch it, but he was too late. What's happening to all the people? They're running. Everyone saw Jerry without the wig and everyone saw that he was the most enormous bee they had ever seen. Do you see Jerry here? How do you think he feels? He has a tear. He's sad. Wait, shouted a voice. Please wait. Who's talking? It was the wig. What? I am Wiglet, a very hairy guinea pig. I have had the horror of sitting, sorry, not the horror, 
the honor of sitting on Jerry's head for a whole week. Yes, Jerry is a bee. Yes, Jerry is enormous, but I have never seen Jerry sting anyone. Jerry is helpful, funny, artistic, and generous. I am proud to call Jerry my best friend ever. <laughs> was that funny? Everyone was quiet. And then... Hooray for Jerry B! Hooray for Wiglet! Hip, hip, hooray, everyone shouted. It was the best day of Jerry B's life. At last, he could be himself and have friends. And Wiglet would be his best friend forever. <laughs> now his wig slash his um, hamster friend and him are eating ice cream together. The end. And that's the end of our story. <laughs>